Uh, hello. Before we start, I just want to take a quick moment here to just say, nice. Uh, yeah, please enjoy now. <laughs> it's already Sunday. That was fast. Yeah, he hasn't moved. <laughs> I've been kidding. He's really anxious. I've been standing in this bush <laughs> for two days. Anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit with just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Meanwhile, we've been getting texting occasionally. <laughs> She's extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside... I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. He broke through the gate. Again, we used to play so often that we made a bit of habit simply entering each other's houses like we were family. And the house is quiet. <gasps> Boy, is she dead? She can't invest herself. Suri isn't anywhere on the first floor. She hung herself, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. And up to her bedroom where I find... She naked. <laughs> Sayori. Hi, Nikki Pingus. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Even I didn't realize. Hi, Nikki Pingus. I was distracted by her jammies. I sit down in her room. So he forces a smile but seems to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over in a long time. That was my line. Like this oh, well, it was sorry. Long, it was a long 60 seconds of silence. It was the joke I was going to make. But anyways, you haven't come over to my house in a long time, have you? I like this in my bed. Ah, I guess you're right, woman. <laughs> It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it's always been. I always recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hey, cow. I like the cow. <laughs> I like the cow. Uh, if you came over more often, uh, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I, I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly uh, wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how'd you know that? Sorry, I already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me uh, informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. What about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I just, uh, I'm just helping her online, you know, COVID. Uh, <laughs> we didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Siri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. Finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something was wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles her head, shaking her head. That's no good, Nicky Pingus. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking uh, about me, right? Uh, but this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the uh, world decided to have you come over today. It wasn't your choice, the world. <laughs> it just wanted to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sayori by the shoulders. <laughs> what on earth are you saying? You listen to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. <laughs> Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Sayori <laughs> <laughs> sure gives me an empty smile. Y you really put me in a trap, Nicky Pins. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siori? <laughs> You're really going to make me say it, aren't you, Nikki Pingus? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've I've had really bad depression my whole life. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Why do you think I'm late to school every day? <laughs> because most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What, what 
What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Except for cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Why make other people put their energy in caring uh, to waste... Oh my god. Yeah. To waste by having them spend it on me. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to I'm respond. <laughs> How's it possible that Siri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? She really wants so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? <laughs> Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could do to support you, even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Mickey Fingus. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have would have have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You're a demon. <laughs> I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet. My favorite thing. When people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Oh, I said I thought I was talking about the animals for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads oh, to every... I hate this mushy <laughs> crap, dude. You're right, I don't understand. I don't understand this is the opposite of mushy. Or... The... Well, not How opposite, this... but... Oh, God, not opposite. But I don't need to part. understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, shut up. That's what I'll do. No, Nicky Pinkus. There's nothing... Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Siori's face. <laughs> I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. And I just would be so much. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. The thing I want you to grab her shoulders and shake her. This time I pull her to a chest embrace. A chest embrace. Nicky <laughs> 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 Pinkus. Sorry. I don't care if you feel selfish. Feel I'm like really happy really that you convinced me to enjoy the club. Put it in image here at least. Seeing you every day makes me worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. Please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Nicky <laughs> Pinkus. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Nick, please, Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have to, if you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what I need. What needs to change, I'll make those feelings go away. If there's anything that you need me to do, you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I'll get pissed. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gently, sir, he finally puts her arms around me in return. I would know anything. Just like that thing you said. I would know nothing. <laughs> it's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. Make you feel like I'm not feeling really nothing is what I'm feeling, really oh babe. But God. you're hugging so hard. And there's really something. Sorry, let's me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Festival, yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Ah! That's what I want. Promise. I. I think that would be nice. Yeah. So we wipes your eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, it has to be the one where I have to have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. I. I didn't know you said that out loud. I didn't either. <laughs> if you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, Sherry shakes her head. I'm sorry. I 
don't know if it would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, oh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. All right. I look forward to it. Say so goodbye to Siori and exit her house. The way home, I find myself feeling a little uneasy. It's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over, too. I think Siori is right. She shouldn't be worrying too much. I'm definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. She just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I simply makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, what's she wearing? A sweater? A turtleneck sweater? Thank goodness. She's like Melvin. You're a little I early. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. I started getting really nervous when no one answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I'd known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, they I all live alone. I suppose that's true. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think of that for some reason. Should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. So you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope to get everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I ask Yuri, or I take Yuri to my room. Yeah. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> oh, <I hate> <laughs> What's that hanger on? They're probably, there's like a nail there. Is there? There's something there, yeah. Oh, okay. I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, ah, I know. It's not considerate. <laughs> I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, a perfect one. That would have been even more embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, don't look at <laughs> there. My pants. I snatch your wrist, which is in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. It's the pee, it's the pee drawer. Not at all, boy. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her laps and making sure she's keeping track of it. So, uh, should we get started? Uh, yes. I, um, have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know... Mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I don't know you plan on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will just stop by out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. But I'm determined <laughs> to help provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's awesome, dude. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, ah. Do you use me pretty intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all, boy. Not at all, boy. <laughs> Something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? Yeah, and you're all monochrome. <laughs> that makes me feel really... I don't think that's the right word. Okay. And kind of happy. Double chrome. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? What if it's beer? Acupuncture. Let's see. <laughs> Stab you. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> I said yummy. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. A dildo. <laughs> I did some shopping on the way here, so I have to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? She still didn't address the wooden tube. <laughs> yeah, that'd be really neat. What's that? <laughs> What's that wooden dildo, though? <laughs> oh, this? This is a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I'm not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? That's why I said it. It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection, romance. It's almost like magic. <laughs> Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin <laughs> ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Well, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? If this is a jasmine essential oil. 
It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, dude, it's a good way to describe it. I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than just relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Phew. You feel warmer. And Sorry. Your pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? Does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently and clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag, her sack, if you will, <laughs> and pulls out several spools of a thin ribbon. What are those for, I ask? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? <clears throat> yeah, it's over there. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What? But it's origami paper. <laughs> but they are napkins. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we could fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It can also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good this, Yuri. It, is that so? Well, I suppose I'd to get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri giggles with her red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Nicky Pingus. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. <sighs> All right. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. Carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Is that what it said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle is an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. She feels the sugar plates. <laughs> The play itself, jelly tinted blue. Tangled up in blue. There's, up in blue. There's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh, well. It's a dildo. The bear as Yuri looks away. What is it? Uh, you're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Teach their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weird enough. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Mm. No, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. Nah, dude, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> it's funny how nervous you are about sharing. It's, well, interesting thing to be into, I guess. I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense, haha. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? You relax your expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. You carefully holds, hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? I'm curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Owie! So you, are, you are pretty simple. <laughs> Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touch it at all. It, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. Small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Let me help you. <laughs> Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Uh, she sucks on it. She stares at it noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, without warning you. <laughs> She puts her finger up and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively help pull my hand back. Uh, oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... You put your hand in my mouth with the chocolate the other day. <laughs> Yuri lifts her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, sure, it was a little weird. Took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. But she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon. Alright, you know what? This may be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger. Nikki Pinkus, did, did you really just do that? No, we're even. <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew this would be a bad idea. 
Not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil. The air would be extremely heavy now, right now. You're so weird, Nikki Pingus. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> On Gorilla de Spinella. You're a little shyly. <laughs> eh? You're calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah! I don't think I need one, actually. There's a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. Tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. Watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Why do you think she couldn't go into your house? She need to be invited in. <laughs> After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side, one by one. Looks better than I expected. It'll be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thinking coming up with this one, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. You ready to move to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Was that I'd like to wrong? Wrong? You switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water. Oh my the god! Tablet. Oh wait, not actual. Do you mind fetching those for us? <laughs> of course not. Six cups of water. Be right back in about a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a bit of water is Sorry. okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. 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 Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips. Then I'll bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes? Come in to see Yuri quickly, unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah! Nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh... No, not at all. Not at not all, at boy. boy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, so let's mix the paint. What? Did you, like, stab herself? Your Hurley dismisses me and takes the sharp knife was too. Pops <laughs> herself to unwrap the talus, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient up across the banner, starting with the colors a for gradient? sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, then nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Ah! Neat. Neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be most from. fun to surprise you. <laughs> Yuri smiles at me. Oh. Uh, Yuri smiles at me, if you say so. After rolling up the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and has a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color gradient, and then we paint. Mm -hmm. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on the banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me... I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I don't even usually want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't matter that we don't talk that much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, or simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel you the same way. Anime. Manga. Manga. <laughs> Manga. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri learns, leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. Now Bruce. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my head in surprise. You hurt? No, I'm not hurt. You just startled me, that's all. You're too dull to hurt. I'm sorry, I should... Sorry. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. <laughs> there are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Are you going to suck them off? Is something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. Turn on my rule and kneel back in front of her. Oh, damn. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh, ah. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. 
I didn't want to use cold water, having finished. I start to retract having my hand, finished. but yours suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little bit longer. It feels really nice. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Keep my hand still against yours neck. She looks into my eyes. A tense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently half her slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? She drugged him. Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. <laughs> the moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. Her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent and forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Hesitantly retrieve my own brush, continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. Finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Look at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, dude, me too. <laughs> you gonna add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry a little bit first. True, true. Won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be a less best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? Yeah, fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Shush, 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 shush. Ah, <laughs> say that like you're glad it's over. Am I wrong to assume that you're at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was just a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah! So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks for herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there'd be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the most important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah, dude. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. It doesn't mean it's the last time it could happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for having me. Sorry. <laughs> I've got too caught up in the moment. <laughs> no problem. I was glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Is your water coming? Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wait. Kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over. We can go somewhere. Ah, forgot you don't like going out much. I stumble over my words. Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, like so. The dwarves. You're very thoughtful, I guess. <laughs> Yuri takes a step closer to me that briefly squeezes my. Oh. I kind of like that about you. She kind of little res. <laughs> well. That's where water comes from. <laughs> How am I supposed to respond to that? How do you get a chance to? As Yuri suddenly pulls back. Is it Sayori? Ah!